Hello, delegators. Welcome to another episode with Titan Node, the number one place to delegate your stake. Today, we will be talking about how to use the LivePeer Explorer. This tutorial is for people who already own LivePeer and want to stake their LPT tokens. Today, we will be covering how to stake, how to unstake, how to move stake, and most importantly, how to withdraw rewards from an orchestrator. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do to stake our LivePeer tokens is go to the LivePeer Explorer, which is explorer.livepeer.org. Once we've arrived at the LivePeer Explorer, we can now connect our MetaMask wallet to LivePeer. We go to the left and click Connect Wallet. Once we click that, you will see we have a couple of options for different wallets. Today, we will be using MetaMask. Once we open up MetaMask on the right, it will prompt us for a password. And then it will ask which wallet you would like to use. We will use this one and click Next. And then we can hit Connect. Once we've connected, you can see the MetaMask account has shown up here with our address. We can close that. And at the top left, where it used to say Connect Wallet, it now has our wallet address up in the top left. We can also confirm that we are ready for the transaction by opening up MetaMask. We can see that it is connected and it has a green dot beside it. And just to confirm, we have our LPT and some Ethereum for gas fees in order to do the rest of the staking process. Now we will choose the orchestrator that we will be delegating to. Of course, this is Titan Node, and we will be delegating to Titan Node. So we can scroll down to the bottom and go to page four, where Titan Node is currently located. And we can click Titan Node. Once we've arrived at the orchestrator overview, where there are a lot of options and metrics on how to evaluate the node, which is done in another video by Titan Node, we can go ahead and stake our live beer. Up in the staking portion of this interface, we can enter the amount that we want to stake. Or you can simply click the balance button, which enters your max balance available in your wallet. If you click that, we can now see our projected rewards for a year and the next step to this process. Right beside it is obviously unstake, but we will come back to that in a little bit. From here, we can hit approve. MetaMask will now prompt us for us to approve our LivePeer tokens to be interacted with the LivePeer protocol. So you can scroll down to the bottom and confirm this transaction. Once we hit approve, you will see a dialog show up showing the transaction that's going to be submitted directly to the blockchain. In here, it will show us uh, some details. We can also check it on Etherscan directly by clicking on details. And you can see that the transaction is currently pending and it may take a few minutes uh, to complete this transaction. Let's exit out and go ahead and wait for this to finish. The transaction has been confirmed and it shows up in this box right here. Again, we can click on Etherscan and see that yes, it is successfully posted to the blockchain where we can now interact with the live peer network. We can hit close. And now you can see that the next option is to stake your live peer. So we've approved and now we are going to stake. Again, we are doing the full balance. We can hit stake. MetaMask will again prompt us for the transaction. In here, we are going to set our gas fees to average just so that we have sped up the process enough for this video. We can hit save and look at our total cost our gas fee is going to be $7. We can hit confirm. And as you can see again, a dialogue comes up with the transaction being submitted to the blockchain. We do have greater details about this transaction, like your account, the delegate it's going to, and their address, the amount of live peer tokens you are sending to be staked, as well as the max transaction fee, which might cost you in Ethereum. Once again, we can hit details and bring us to Etherscan where the transaction is still currently pending. We can exit out of here and wait for that to finish. 
And as you can see, we now have the transaction confirmed and some confetti is falling down on our screen. Congratulations, you have now staked your tokens for rewards. Again, Etherscan can show us that it is successful and that we have our live peer tokens staked to this orchestrator. We can hit close. And now from here, you can see that our stake amount that we can input is now zero. If we click on unstake, we can now see our full balance available to be unstaked when we decide to do so. But first, before we unstake, let's go through a couple of options before we get there. We are gonna go through move stake. This is a little unintuitive, and we do this in case our orchestrator that we're currently staked to is not performing well, or if we wanna support a different orchestrator, we need to be able to move our stake without unstaking. The unstaking process takes seven days for you to unstake, and you can move stake without having to unstake, which is very, very important. The way we do this is we look for the new orchestrator we want to stake with. So we can click on orchestrators. And for this example, we're going to be moving our stake from Titan node one to Titan node two, which is going to be further down the list. So we can scroll to the bottom and look for Titan node two. Here we have Titan node two, which is just a practice node for the Titan node community. In this example, we'll be moving our stake from Titan node one to two. And the way we do that is simply going to the input section and typing zero. When you type zero, a move stake button will appear. This is how you move stake from Titan node one to Titan node two. You have to go to the new orchestrator and type zero. If we go ahead and click move stake, MetaMask will now prompt us to do the change. Again, I'm going to edit the gas fees just to save a little bit in money. We're going to pick slow, just for this example, and hit confirm. The live peer transaction is now moving your stake from the last delegate to the new delegate. It says here that the amount is zero, but that is just simply because we are not delegating new stake, we are rather moving stake. Once this is completed, we can show that in the options there. Again, if you want to look at the details of it on the blockchain, you can click on this details button here, or you can also just simply close this dialog. It doesn't need to be open. At the bottom, you'll see there is the details button here as well. Once you click that, you can see, once again, our transaction is pending on the blockchain. So we will come back to this in just a moment. And now the transaction has completed and we have successfully moved our stake. The way we can now view this is if we click on our account at the left, we can see more information about our staking. We can see who we are staked with. This is really helpful if you forget who you're staked with or if you're waiting for the transaction to confirm. We can see your staked balance. And we can also see some history of lifetime rewards you've had from staking. In the next part of this video, we will be going through how to unstake. But before we can do that, we have to wait for an entire round to complete. In the bottom left, you'll see this round completion here. We can click that. And this shows us how often a round is completed. A round is the time it takes for your daily reward calls to come in. We have to wait for a round to complete for our staking to be enabled with that orchestrator. We will come back then. Now we are going to unstake our live peer tokens. Just a quick reminder, you have to unstake from the orchestrator that you are staked with. If we go ahead and choose a random orchestrator and attempt to unstake, you will get an error that it says you are not staked with this orchestrator. So the easiest way to find out who you are staked with is to simply go to the left and click on your account. And right here, we can say that we're staked with Titan node two. We can go ahead and click that. And then from there, we can move up to the top right, click unstake, and we can unstake the full amount. From there, we can click unstake. It will again prompt us through MetaMask, which we will adjust the gas fee to slow just to save some extra money. And we can go ahead and click confirm. 
And finally, we have the unstaking LPT he is sending this transaction to the Ethereum blockchain. When you do unstake your LPT, you will be required to wait seven rounds, which is about seven days, in order to receive your live peer after it's been unstaked. And as you can see, it has just been unstaked, and we can view that again by clicking the receipt and seeing that it is successful on the Ethereum blockchain. We can exit out of this and close. Now that we have successfully unstaked, you can see that our balance is zero, we cannot enter any more stake, and we can also not unstake any as we do not have any balance. Since it takes seven rounds or seven days for this to receive back into your wallet, the way you can view your progress is to simply again click on your account in the top left. From here we can see our total lifetime unstaked and our current staked balance is zero. Right underneath though, you'll have pending transactions and it will give you some more details about your actual transaction. And you can see that these tokens will be available for withdrawal in approximately seven days. This here, you can also restake if you decide to get back into staking. And it also shows you your total amount of LPT that will be available for withdrawal in seven days. And that covers the staking, moving stake and unstaking process. Also, just as a note, when your seven day process of unstaking is complete, there will be a new button at the bottom called withdraw. And you have to click that and follow that in order to get your tokens. Now for the final step of this tutorial, we're going to be going through how to withdraw fees that you've earned from transcoding rewards. These are fees that the transcoder has earned through the transcoding process and has distributed to its delegators. From the overview page, we click on account and we move on up to earned fees. In this account here, I have an account delegated with Titan node that has earned some ETH fees and is currently pending. So as you can see, we have a lifetime earned fees of 0.22 ETH. They're currently pending. And so they have not been withdrawn yet you can let this accumulate and withdraw it at a later date. For this scenario, we are going to withdraw our pending ETH fees and take our profits. We can go ahead and click withdraw. And very similarly, just like every other transaction we do, we can go ahead and change our gas fees if we need, but we can go ahead and click average and confirm this transaction. And just like that, our account is now withdrawing the Ethereum that we have earned from transcoding. This may take a bit for it to confirm, but once it's complete, this should show up in your MetaMask wallet. Now we have the transaction completed. We can go ahead and click close. And once that transaction is completed, you can see here that our lifetime earnings have stayed the same. We have zero pending and we've successfully withdrawn our 0.22 ETH. Those are some good rewards for some sweet, sweet staking. That concludes the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support Titan Node, you can go to titan-node.com slash delegate to stake your tokens with Titan Node. You earn Ethereum and Livepeer from delegating to the Titan Node orchestrator. Thank you for watching and have a great day.